Good morning everyone, I am in Hoi An, but this is a very different Hoi An. It's not like in travel magazines or Instagram photos. This is the countryside of Hoi An. In this video, I will show you how cycling in Hoi An looks like, where to cycle, and how to enjoy a very different Hoi An that not many people experience. Let's pedal! Hoi An is the friendliest cycling city in Vietnam. Not many people living in Hoi An. The city has a population of just 100,000 people and little traffic makes it a very safe place for cyclists. Hoi An is small. Nearly all of the places to see, eat and drink spread out from the old town to the beach, which is just 5 kilometers away. You can reach any place in just 15 to 20 minutes cycling. And Hoi An is very flat, making cycling so much easier for everyone. Hoi An is the first city in Vietnam to introduce the pedestrian only back in 2004 and since 2020, the central old town has become no motorbike every day. It is also the first city in Vietnam to introduce the bike sharing service. You can download the app to use the bicycle for free for the first 30 minutes, then 20,000 dong for every next hour. The city also plans to raise the rate of people riding bicycle in the town from 4% at the moment to 40% by 2025. So right now I'm in Hai Ba Trung Street, it is the first street and still the only one that has a bicycle lane in Vietnam. This is the most important street in Hoi An linking the ancient town and the An Bang Beach, the most popular beach. Still many motorbikes ride on the bicycle lane but I hope it could be better in the future. All of the hotels and homestays offer a free bicycle if you stay. The one gear bike and we're fine for a short bike ride. But if you're used to cycling on a good bike and want to do a long bike ride, if there are some places where you can rent decent mountain bike for just five to seven dollars, it could save you from swearing the whole day. The traffic in Vietnam is crazy. Thankfully, Hoi An is small and the traffic goes slowly here. However, there are some cycling tips you need to know before pedaling. Biking on the right side of the road. It could be difficult at first for people from Canada, Australia, New Zealand and England. Be careful when crossing the intersections. Some people cross a red light and always keep an eye on the road. Sometimes people make a certain turn without any signaling. Actually, the local people are very used to tourists riding bicycles, so they often slow down when seeing cyclists on the road. I see most cyclists don't wear helmets in Hoi An. Also, the hotel offers only bicycles, not helmets. I feel much safer wearing a helmet. So if it's possible, when you rent a bike, you can ask for a helmet. Hoi An was recognized as a UNESCO site in 1999, and the town has just been doing tourism for just 20 years. Still, a large population working in farming and fishing, making it an amazing place to learn about local life in the countryside of Vietnam. There are so many routes to cycle around, you can easily do a 30 minutes, one hour, or even longer, in the old town or even out of the town, into the countryside. Here are some places that you should cycle. Right now, I'm in the central rice field in Hoi An. It's in the middle between the old town and the beach. In the last couple of years, the government in Hoi An they has been building a lot of concrete paths that are running through the rice paddies, make it more safer for the tourists to cycle around. The best time to cycle here is at the sunset time, around this time, around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This is one of the best places in Hoi An for sunset watching. Right now, I'm in the Kham Kim Island. This island connects with the Hoi An city by a very long bridge. And most of the people in the island working in the farming and fishing. This is a great place if you want to escape the very crowded ancient town. There's quite a lot of tourists cycling around the island. Some doing cycling tours, some cycling on their own, which is super easy if you know how to use Google Map. If you want to cycle the Kham Kim Island, I recommend starting your bike ride as early as possible, like 7 o'clock in the morning, before it gets too hot. And actually, in the countryside of Vietnam, uh, the early morning is the most active time of the day, with people walking in the field, the kids going to school, and people going shopping in the market. You can easily do two to three hours bike ride in the Kham Kim Island, so remember to bring a lot of water with you. Got it or not got it? 
If you know how to use Google Maps, which you should when traveling, you can easily do a bike ride yourself, not just the short ones, but even the longer rides. Just grab a bike, get a full bottle of water, and off you go. You're free to get lost, stay in the shade for a fruit stop, you can stop whatever you want, for how long you want, for a perfect photo. But when taking a guided tour, you definitely don't need to worry about where to go, worried if you miss some interesting places, and they take you on the best second route possible. The most important thing is the guided tour offer a chance to understand the local life deeper. And you really meet the locals and learn about how they live, what they do for a living. So both have pros and cons that your choice. So if you find yourself in Hoi An, get bored of seeing the tourists in the old town every day, just grab a bike and go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in Vietnam.